Hi, I'm Phil, and this is Filling in the Blanks. Today, I'm going to show you how you can display vehicle diagnostic data on the big infotainment screen that's in your vehicle. To accomplish this, you're going to need three things. First, you're going to need a Bluetooth OBD2 reader. Second, you're going to need the car scanner app. And third, you're going to need a vehicle that supports either Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. To install the USB OBD2 adapter in your vehicle, you first need to locate the OBD2 port. This is typically located below the steering wheel near the floor on your vehicle. Once you locate it, simply push the adapter into the port and you will typically see the blue light light up. The first thing you need to do is download the app. The app is called Car Scanner ELM OBD2. The direct link to this app will be in the description of this video. Once you've downloaded the app, Go ahead and open it, and now we have to configure it. In the middle of the screen, there are settings, and there are two things that we have to configure here, the adapter and the connection profile. In the adapter, we're gonna select Bluetooth LE, and we go back to settings, and now we have to configure the connection profile. First, we select the make of the vehicle. In my case, it's a Chevrolet, and then the adapter that you have. Most models of vehicles are listed here, and as I scroll down to the bottom, I'll see that here's the Silverado Sierra with the 3.0 LZ0 engine. I'll select that and apply it to the profile. The app is now configured. Now that we've configured the app, we can go ahead and connect it to the vehicle. Press the connect icon at the bottom of the screen. This will generally take a few seconds to complete. Now that we're connected, press the dashboard icon, and at the top of the screen, we can select the gear icon. Now we're going to add a page to the dashboard. Here I'm selecting one through four stacked option. We can scroll through the list of sensors to add to the, uh, the dashboard or we can search for it. So I'm going to search for MAF and here is the mass airflow rate. I'll hit plus and select the text horizontal layout. This is important, text horizontal layout. I will search for def and select the def tank level. Again, text horizontal layout. Next, I'm gonna search for regen. And the final thing we'll add is the oil temperature. Now that you have the four items selected, press okay at the bottom of the screen. Your dashboard is now complete. Now I'm gonna show you how to display this data on your big infotainment screen. This will vary from vehicle to vehicle, but I'll show you how I accomplish it on mine. First, I'm going to go into the options and select Apple CarPlay. Now that I'm in Apple CarPlay, I'm going to go into the Car Scanner app. As you can see, I'm disconnected right now, and I'm going to connect to the Bluetooth dongle. This will take a moment. Now that we're connected, I'm going to click on the dashboard at the top of the screen. I've configured two dashboards, so it'll show me both. I'm going to go into the first one, and you can see that the engine RPM, the def tank level, def tank temperature, and the engine fuel rate are all displayed. I'm now going to go into the second. We'll go back to the dashboard screen and select the second dashboard. From here, we have the mass airflow sensor. We have the def tank level again, and we have regen. Right now, regen is currently off and the engine oil temperature. So why would you want to show some of this data on your big infotainment screen? Well, I think that answer varies, but the first answer is pretty obvious. It's pretty cool to do. Second really depends on your use case. For me, this is a diesel vehicle, so it takes deaf fluid. Uh, there's different things about a diesel vehicle that you want to keep track of. First, how much deaf fluid do you have left? Yes, there's a gauge on the, the main screen, but it's not granular enough for me. I want to see in percentage how much of the tank I have left. And especially when you're towing, you can consume a lot more deaf fluid than you are just on your daily driving. So again, if you're on a longer trip and you're towing, it's nice to see that drop in a percentage. The second is, are you in a regen or not? Why that matters is when you're watching your fuel consumption and it's showing that you're sitting at a, at a pretty high rate of fuel consumption, the question always arises, am, am I in a regen state or not? There's nothing on the dash, there's nothing in the vehicle that tells me that I'm in a regen. Now I know it's on the screen. So that will help me 
determine whether I'm actually getting good fuel mileage on this trip or not. For anybody that's tuning their vehicle or changing out parts, if you're changing out an air filter or anything else, you're going to want certain, to watch certain aspects of this to see if that is making a difference for you. Having that data readily available to you on the screen that you don't have to mess with a small phone and take your eyes off the road and get distracted by it is very key. This is going to continuously run. I don't have to touch it. I can just glance down and I can see that I have 28% left in my def uh, tank. Hopefully this video has helped you out in getting vehicle diagnostic data displayed on your infotainment screen. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. Thanks very much and have a great day.